The long-awaited return of Stranger Things is almost here. The first volume of the show's fourth season will premiere on May 27th, and the streaming service is now releasing key art posters for the main characters of the show. The latest rounds put Mike Wheeler and his California crew in the spotlight, and that's exactly what we're going to talk about in today's video. First up, the spotlight on Mike and his Cali crew. So like we said, these posters have been featuring different characters of the show. First, the focus was on the show's main character, Eleven. In the second round, Round, they featured Hopper, Joyce, and Murray, and now we've been treated to posters of Mike and his California crew. We get to see Mike, Will, Jonathan, and new characters called Argyle in these ominous looking posters for the next season, and fans are overjoyed. Now let's talk a bit about what's next for these characters, starting with Will Byers. Will has been through so much already, and it seems like this season isn't going to be any easier for him at all. Knowing his luck, the horrors of the Upside Down might follow him into sunny California as well. One thing that several fans pointed out about the poster was that Will's hair looked pretty weird, with some even speculating that the new actor Noah Schnapp was wearing a wig. One fan tweeted, Why do you guys always do Noah so dirty with the haircuts? Poor guy, LMAO. We've seen in the previous seasons that Will has struggled with change and watching his friends grow up, so it'll be interesting to see how he copes with moving to a whole new city. Luckily, though, he won't be alone in this, since he'll have his brother, John. Jonathan and Eleven accompanying him. Hopefully, he'll embrace the change and will make some new friends along the way. Now for Jonathan Byers. At the end of season three, we see Jonathan being extremely sad about moving to California, and at one point he even says to his girlfriend, Nancy Wheeler, that 17 years of his life were packed up in one day. Ouch. Speaking of Nancy, we have to see Jonathan say goodbye to her, and we're tearing up just talking about that extremely heartfelt scene. They both looked so devastated. Let's hope we get to see more of our favorite couple in the next season because they should not be kept apart. Fans were happy to see posters of both the Byers brothers and even said that they're the best family of the show. And you know what? We agree. Up next is the new character Argyle. In these newly released posters, we get to see and take a look at a new face. This new character called Argyle will be played by Eduardo Franco and apparently he's going to be Jonathan's new best friend. From what we know so far, he's a fun-loving stoner who delivers pizza and has a pretty laid-back lifestyle. But if the past three seasons have taught us anything, it's that getting involved with the buyers is definitely going to bring trouble to his doorstep. Fans have already taken a liking to him, and one even tweeted that Argyle is actually the best thing to happen to Stranger Things. Another tweeted that they already know that Jonathan and Argyle are going to be their favorite besties this season. Let's just hope he's ready for whatever mess he's about to find himself in soon, because this is Stranger Things, and in this world, no one is safe. Now on to Mike Wheeler. So where did we last leave Mike? Thanks to Eleven, Mike and the rest of the gang, the door to the Upside Down was finally closed and the inhabitants of Hawkins could finally take a breather. And in bigger news, Eleven finally tells Mike that she loves him. Sadly though, the Byers family and Eleven have to leave Hawkins and this results in another heart-wrenching scene where Mike also has to say goodbye to his girlfriend. However, in the trailer for the upcoming fourth season, we see Mike and Eleven reunited when we see them skating together together hand in hand. Oh, we're so happy to see them both together. It's what they deserve. Mike has followed Eleven to California for his spring break, and hopefully they'll spend some time with each other in peace, even though it seems like it won't be for long before all hell breaks loose once again. Hawkins needs Eleven again. Why can't Eleven just live a normal life? Hasn't she been through enough? While Eleven may have lost her powers at the end of season three, it seems like Hawkins needs her again. We find out in the trailer that the government needs Eleven to unlock her powers, and Dr. Owens even tells her that they can't win this war without her. And of course, bringing back her powers isn't going to be easy, and we see her getting transported to a laboratory of sorts in the back of a van as Mike stares at his girlfriend, leaving him once again. Seriously, Stranger Things, let the two kids be happy. That's all about how Stranger Things' new posters put the spotlight on Mike and his California crew. Now let's move on to some more related news. Actress Sadie Sink talks about the upcoming coming season of Stranger Things. American actress Sadie Sink plays the character of Max Mayfield. One of the biggest talking points of the trailer for this upcoming season was the scene where Max levitates in front of her dead brother's grave. Speaking to People, the 20-year-old actress revealed that this is the most bizarre season of Stranger Things yet. She also added that the scale of it is just out of this world. Talking about the scene where her character levitates, she said that she can't really say anything about it and that that's a wild episode though. Speaking 
about the show ending with season 5, she said that she's not ready to say goodbye yet and that she would go on forever if the show wanted her to. She added that they've built a family on set and that she's going to miss everyone. Trust us, Sadie, we feel the same way. Natalie Dyer on the success of Stranger Things The sci-fi TV series has easily been the most popular and talked about TV show of the last few years. No franchise has been as successful as Stranger Things, and according to actress Natalie Dyer, who plays Nancy Wheeler on the show, this is because of the cast's very real and genuine off-screen relationships. Natalie said that when the show started, none of the young cast members had done anything like this before, and when it became an overnight sensation, it created a bond between them that is hard to describe. Outside of the show, the cast members are all very close. In the same interview, she called Gaten Matarazzo, the actor who plays Dustin, the funniest cast member. She also said that he's really hilarious in group chats and has a very funny brain. Stranger Things Season 4 cost $30 million per episode. According to the Wall Street Journal, every episode of the new season of Stranger Things cost around $30 million. This means that the series is now one of the most expensive TV shows of all time. Since this season is set to have nine episodes, Netflix has spent over a quarter of a billion dollars just for this new chapter. This further points toward this new season being more ambitious than anything that came before it. Netflix has recently suffered a pretty significant subscriber drop, and they'll be hoping that this huge investment pays off. Let's see what happens. An immersive experience of the show is coming to London. Fans of Stranger Things in the UK are in for a treat. An exciting new event called Stranger Things The Experience is coming to London this year. It's been described as a groundbreaking in-person live multimedia experience, and apparently it will include some of the memorable settings from the show. Fans will even get to see their favorite Stranger Things characters. This event was created in collaboration with the show's creators, the Duffer Brothers, and is co-produced by Netflix. Fans will take part in a new storyline which will take place in a parallel universe. They'll get to see iconic locations like the Hawkins Lab, the Upside Down, and they'll even be able to visit a Stranger Things themed bar. This is incredibly exciting for fans because they'll get to interact with the show in a whole new way. Fans love the world of Stranger Things, and this is a fantastic opportunity for them to get more out of their favorite show. The experience is also coming to New York City in May and San Francisco in June. This is a groundbreaking initiative, and it will be interesting to see if more shows start giving fans interactive experiences. And if, like us, you love Stranger Things, this is a dream come true. That's a wrap for today's video. So what are your thoughts? What do you think is next for our favorite Stranger Things characters? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.